Okay guys, now we're at the big beaver house. I had this little trap set up on this dam. I seen like a little channel there. Tough for sure, I'd get an otter or something crossing over, a beaver, but geez, it's a, got a pretty nice muskrat here. I already compressed one of the springs and I thought, geez, I should take a video all day. But that is here's the first trap and uh, got a catch already. Okay guys, we're on top of this here huge beaver house now. Jeez, it's actually quite big. I'd say it's at least 20 feet across. Everything out there in the feed pile is big sticks, so I'm expecting to have a few big beaver here. I had a couple traps today, but uh, all I got was rats. So, reset up again, I guess, and uh, set a few more traps and lure it all up, and I uh, should be good to go again. Hopefully. But, uh, we can catch a few beavers in here. Pretty good spot, looking like it anyway. But uh, just show you around a bit now. Is is good looking. Hopefully catch. Okay, guys, here's a little set that I just made up now. I'm just get walking over now to sort of put the lure in it and that. But uh, trying something a little bit different now. I got the the trigger wires bent down and off to the sides. The plan is for him to strike it off with his feet or something. But, uh, I never got no beavers here today. I was expecting at least two, but that's the way it is, I guess. And, uh, I have to come back now in a couple more days' time. I got a few more traps set out. I got this one here and a couple more over around the house. Getting ready down once, and I'll go set up another trap on a different dam just down from this here. Does this here. And, uh, just gonna put some uh, lure on this here now, and uh, off we go to the next set. Okay, guys, I was just over there setting up an otter trap. I looked up the creek here. I seen two ducks. They were way up there, so I lied down under the under the front of the boat. Uh, it looks like I got two mallards there. Got two of them there in one shot. All right, guys, I got that there little set. In there, I got the, a drowning cable going down to a number three bridger. I just dug a little hole there and kind of blocked off some sticks. I don't know if I'm going to catch anything, but I'll try to do it anyway. Whole lot of otter crap up on top of the bank there, so you never know. I might catch one running along there or something. But, uh, yeah, I had them ducks up there, and uh, seems to be a few, few flying around today. Some mallards and teals and stuff. But that there, uh, that was actually the first mallards that I've ever shot. Mostly you don't usually see a big lot of mallards around there. I don't find anyway. Mostly black ducks and teals and diver ducks and stuff like that. But, uh, I'm getting ready now for the head out. Back out through the river, get out to the bay. And then, uh, geez, quite rough out there in the bay today. I almost, uh, I almost dipped nose on the boat a couple times. But uh, I'm gonna try a different different route out through today and uh, out there not once. I'll show you once it gets out there just how rough it is. It's all white caps and there's about I don't know a six foot wave on it falls, which is quite a bit for this here little boat. If I was in the otter boat now, I'd just go on through it route. But this one here, which is quite light in the water. Show you not once. All right, guys, just to show you now, it's pretty it's pretty well calm in here. But out there, if I zoom in, you probably see the white caps pretty good. So where I got to get to out there for to get out the mouth of this here river. Head back to the. Not quite out to the worst of it yet, but it's already getting pretty bad.
Once you're in past the Mercer, see past this big sand bar, it's not too bad. Probably the roughest that I've ever been in in this air bowl. That was a bad one there. Should take the time a bit more. Well, this will probably be the end of this video. For today, because this hair is pretty rough, it's hard to take video like this.